What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield for you guys. And ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know the deal. We got ourselves another great video coming at you guys. We got ourselves a Trick Room Glaciary team alongside with Life Orb G-Max Blastoids. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yo, I saw Blastoise on the team and I was like, I have to use them. I feel like I haven't used Blastoise in forever. Seriously, it's one of those starters I, that like Charizard and Venusaur just overlook because they are so good in meta and just all around. But Blastoise is still very, very good and tons of fun to use, so I'm actually hyped to use it. But he's rocking out in our front spot. We got the Life Orb on him, Torrent ability, and then Water Spout, Shell Smash to set up Scald, and Blizzard for coverage. Right next to him, we got the one and only Glaciary, one of the strongest Pokemon in the game, in my opinion. This thing is an absolute beast with the Chilling Nay ability, Expert Belt for super effective damage. Then we got Icicle Crash, Close Combat, Protect, and high horsepower. Behind my face cam, Rillaboom, another great Pokemon, really, really strong with the Grassy Surge. And this time we're holding the Rose Incense, and if you guys do not know what that does, it works exactly like the Miracle Seed. It just boosts up grass type moves. That's all it does, so it's awesome. It, it helps us out in battle. We got Fake Out, Protect, Grass Guide, and Knock Off the Pick Off items. And Cinnamor as a lovely little support mon over here with Intimidate Citrus Berry. Nothing new on him with the Flare Blitz, Darkest Slayer, Party Shot, and Fake Out. So that's actually nice. We have two Fake Out Pokemon, so we can kind of pester around and fool around with that. Bottom left corner, we got a great other support mod with Indeedee with the Focus Sash and the Psychic Surge ability. Expanding Force, follow me to actually help us set up a Shell Smash. We got Safeguard and Helping Hand. Safeguard is awesome. I haven't used that in forever. Safeguard actually uh, prevents us or protects us from like uh, sleep powders and all that good stuff. So maybe we can uh, get a battle where we're using that. That'd be pretty cool. And then in the final spot, we got the Dust Cops. He's our Trick Room Setter. We got Haze with him as well. Nightshade and Pain Split. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Blastoise and Glaciary team. First battle coming at you guys, and I'm loving the team that we're seeing right here. Awesome team by this guy right here. He has Darmanitan, Raichu, Arcanine, Wimscott, Gyarados, and Exodrill. Not the same meta Pokemon that we've really been seeing. That's This one's going to be a fun battle, but who should I lead? Do I go Trick Room Squad? I feel like I can, but he can also taunt me, which I kind of don't like. But at the same time, I kind of want to go Shell Smash, but then he has Fake Out. He has all this. Actually, you can go Surge. Actually, uh, counteract that Fake Out. I kind of want to go Blastoids here. It's Gyarados, I see that. I do want to actually get it to Intimidate out here. He has a lot of physical attackers. Um, hmm, final spot, do I go Glacier just in the back end? Or do I go Rillaboom? I think like Rillaboom will be a little bit better. I think like Rillaboom will be a little bit better here. I guess that extra draw, I really don't like that extra. It's kind of scaring me. I don't kind of like this. I say we don't go Trick Room because he has that Wimbiscott. He has that Wimbiscott, he can just taunt me. He definitely has to be rocking taunt on it, right? That's got to be a thing. That has got to be a thing. He's got to be rocking taunt. Hmm. And then he could be leading like Raichu. So I really don't want to lead that. In case he goes into the fake out and then uh, goes into uh, the taunt. Kind of cancels out my trick room and kind of starts ruining our battle. So I'd rather just go in this pathway. Maybe set up, a, set up a shell smash here. Maybe not. We'll see how everything goes. But what I was actually thinking about is a Pokemon that I haven't seen in a while is Togekiss. Ever since Togekiss got that banned back at like a, two seasons ago and then came back, just you haven't been seeing a lot of Togekiss, which is a little rough. But he does go Arcanine and uh, Wimbiscott, probably trying to predict my, what's called coming out here? Probably trying to predict my Glacier coming out with the Duskop, so I can set up a Shell Smash. Do I follow me Shell Smash? Mm, yes, I am gonna follow me Shell Smash here. And he can just go into some, oh, oh. He can just go into some Snarl, so I actually might just go into this. It says, instead of Shell Smashing, I might just actually go into a, uh, I might just Helping Hand here. Or do I try to, try to Shell Smash at least? No, we are going to go for the Shell Smash. We are going to go for the Shell Smash here. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Maybe he'll swap. Maybe I should just run for Water Spout. Let's see what he does. He's just going to Dynamax right off the rip, which is totally fine by me. And he is going to Tailwind. He's going to Dynamax at Arcanine. It's got to be an attacking Arcanine. Probably going for a, uh, a what's it called? He's got to be going for a Max Lightning. We're going for my Blast Lead slot. So luckily we did go for that follow me. Kind of just uh, saved us there. What are you going for, kind sir? Because I can Dynamax next turn. He's got to be set up a Tailwind, right? Oh, um, he's got to come out here. Are you going to taunt me this turn? He might taunt me this turn, which could, which could be a little tough. And then set up a 10 one. Gonna go for. Oh, he's going for. Actually. Oh, yes, yo. He's going for that beat up Arcanine. Yo. Great turn, yo. Great turn here. We get off a nice little shell smash. 
I'm gonna be able to uh, tailwind and follow me again, which is huge. Not tailwind, uh, just G Max and go into a uh, a big old uh, follow me because we should be able to eat this up, right? Yeah, awesome, beautiful. You love to see it. Beat up gets out of my face. I totally forgot about the beat up option, but you know what? It worked out for us. It worked out for us just great. Bell smash coming out here. Let's get it. Oh, uh, yeah. Even that speed boost, my defense is down, but I do get off another follow me, which is awesome. And if he doesn't go for a tailwind, we're out speeding. Which I can see him totally going for a tailwind here. Uh, do I go after the Arcanine? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get after the Arcanine. Follow me. Bang. And then we just, uh, we Dynamax, and we go for a G-Max Canyonade. Yeah, so. Uh, let me see my stats real quick. I forget, Shell Smash is, uh, plusing attack and speed, right? Is it plus two? Yes, it is plus two, baby. That's great news. That is great news. I don't know, G-Max can but our defense is down. Our defense is down. We know that. But the real question is, is he going to set up a Tailwind? I can see him guarding here. I can totally see him guarding. We're definitely Dynamaxing. We're boosted up in a Shell Smash. We do have the Life Worm. And then I can bring out Incineroar next turn, which is, which is pretty nice. Because uh, what's going to go now? Indeedy. So I kind of, like, if he sets up a Tailwind, that's fine. I'd rather him... Not set up now. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a follow me. Is he gonna go for another beat up? This thing, can we eat up another beat up? Let's see what he does. He's just gonna go straight for a tailwind. So that's totally fine by me, to be honest with you. Considering that this Arcanine shot has to come across this way, and we should just be able to take it out here, and now he has no dynamics. Pokemon. Lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. Yeah, Arcanine should be gone. Get him out of my face. I'm not dealing with him. Big old Blastoids doing some work. Dude, I love this Pokemon. I love this G-Max Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Dump on him. Get him out of my face. Our defense is down. But, he, again, he does have that Tailwind. But Blastoise is plus two, which kind of counteracts the Tailwind. We know Wimscott is faster than him. Um, I don't know who he's going to bring out. Uh, do I bring out Incineroar? I feel like Incineroar has to come out here. I think that's a, that's a fair a fair move here. He doesn't have Dynamax. I can go out with Vega. Or I can just go into Rillaboo. But what other Pokemon did he have? He had the Gyarados. He had the Excadrill. Um, hmm. He had the Gyarados, he had the extra drill. Uh, I don't want to go in the Rillaboom, I'm not even going to lie. Gyarados, extra drill, Raichu he had. Uh, I wish I can actually, like, check right now. I think I'm just going to go into, uh, Incineroar here. Just for that Intimidate, in case he brings out a physical attacker. You get a nice little Intimidate. He goes out with the extra, okay, so good call by me to go into that Incineroar. We get this a nice little intimidate on this thing. And I'm just gonna fake it out. And I think I take out the whimsy. I can see him maybe protecting. I think I just take out the whimsicott and parting shot here. But I can definitely fake out and take out him. It doesn't really matter to me. Which I'm definitely gonna fake out you. And I might just drop a hailstorm and take out Whimscott. Because I can see extra maybe protecting here. But I'm just going to take out you. I'm just gonna fake this thing out. We're just gonna take out the Wimsy guy here. I'm gonna say later, Wimsy. I'm gonna go for Giga Dome. Hey, yo! Okay, good thing I am taking out this Wimsy guy. Does he get a Sash back? Uh, we're, uh, what's it called? We're, it's, we're set in hail anyway. Which is nice. Okay, yeah, get this thing out of the way. Good thing I went after this thing. He's bothering me, man. He's bothering me a lot. Get him out of here. Get him out of here! I'm not dealing with him. I'm not dealing with him. Okay, so both his Pokemon do outspeed me. I have one more turn left in, uh, Left in Dynamax or G Max. So hopefully I can get off a KO here. Who's he gonna bring out? The real question. Extra gets hurt by the Buffets. Love to see it. And it's an order and fly suits. My defense is down, which stinks. It really does think the vortex is popping. I think I just parting shot onto the uh onto maybe the the left slot. So I can get off another intimidate and come back. It's gonna be Darmantan. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to parting shot here. Or or where do I just go for a flare blitz? Take out the other man. I mean, this takes out the extra, but the extra is minus one. I just guard. I'm not even gonna lie. I say I just guard here. Because he's gotta go after my blast switch, right? My blast switch poses the biggest threat. And he's gonna outspeed both of me until Tailwind's up. And I think Tailwind's up next turn. But I think I just guard here. If I guard here, they should double up into me, right? And then what's called should be able to come in here, clutch. Yeah, see here, there's a block. And then extra goes for Rockside. Yeah, we blocked that. As long as my Incineroar doesn't get a flinch, that's that's decent. That's solid. 
No, no, don't flinch. You're chilling, buddy. You're chilling all day. You're chilling. You're chilling. I told you. You're chilling, baby. Let's go. Get this flare blitz off. Nice little guard by me. This should be able to take out extra drill and beautiful. We're sitting pretty here. We're sitting so pretty. You love to see it because I got a flare blitz coming in this slot, or I can just go into like a, a scald or a water spout. Probably scald because water spout's more on my HP side. This is where he comes out, but yo, solid first match from your boy, dude. Solid first match. Really good first match for me. We should be thriving here. It's ice punch, but still, we can flare blitz that slot. And we have the vortex still going through. There's a vortex rocks. I love the little chip damage it does. Is Tailwind up? Or does he still have one more turn, Tailwind? I don't think it really matters right now. I feel like either a Flare Blitz or a Scald is going to come in hot and take him out. So, you decide what's going on, buddy. You decide. You decide your fate. Just quit the match. Keep our man Tan alive. Keep him alive. Because we still have Robo Moon in the back. But yeah, I'm glad that first battle went the way it did. Set up a Shell Smash and just absolutely dominate with Blast. So, he just shows his potential, shows how strong he is. Such a great Pokemon. Once you get him set up on a Shell Smash, Usually people rock out with White Herb, but the, the Life Orb does uh does do uh, wonders. Especially if you can uh, neglect damage and stop people from hitting me. And that's kind of what this team does, because you got to follow me, and then you have the Fake Out. And then typically you're going to outspeed most Pokemon. So you Fake Out one slot, you take out the other Pokemon on the other slot, and they are not touching your Blast Orbs. They're just, it's just not happening. But let's get it. What are you going to do? He's not even going to quit. He's just going to Ice Punch on me. Hey, yo, chill on me. And he eats! Yo, that's GG now. That's definitely GG. Skull's going to come through. Thank you, Blastoise, for eating up. Get this thing out my face. Get it out my face. Blastoise with an absolute beast of battle number one. We go 1-0. We can hop to our second battle and try to go for back-to-back -back wins here. But no! Yo, my turtle goes down. Looking to start a win streak, this guy's got a heck of a team right here with Metagross, Salamence, Galarian Moltres, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Nihilego. I definitely want to get Trick Room rolling here. I definitely want to get Trick Room rolling hard here. Um... I go Dust Clops into Indeedee. Yeah, let's get that going. And then we're going to go Glacier. And then in the final spot, who am I taking? Incineroar? Incineroar can come out here and be decent. But I kind of want Blastoids at the same time. Hmm. Who do I really want here? Who do I really want? Blastoids can do work up against that Moltres, the Nihilego, and the, uh, the Salamence. Hmm. Do I want Blastoids in here? It's just like a back-end Life Orb Pokemon. Or I can go with him. But then he just has knockoff and like Gracie Glide and all that. Uh. Hmm. But I want to do this. And I can't haze and all that. Uh. I think we need another attacker. Right? I feel like we need another uh, decently heavy hitter here. So I'm going to go Blastoise. I'm going to roll out Blastoise. He does have the ice moves just in case we're going to need him in the back end. In case maybe Glacier goes down. We do have Ice Punch. Was it Ice Punch? No, it wasn't Ice Punch. We have Blizzard. We have Blizzard. So maybe we can pick up some KOs with that. As super effective to the Salamence and the Glare Moltres. So, we can see how that will. But who are you going to go with, kind sir? He's going to go with Moltres and Metagross. So, he's going to double up here with big monsters. He's going to go for that Fiery Wrath. I got to follow me here. I got to go into that. Um, hopefully, we are Sash. We are Sash. And I don't think that uh, Metagross is rocking out with double hitting moves, right? We are Sash on the follow me Pokemon. And we should be fine with setting up a Trick Room. So I am just going to go for a trick in here. Got a yeet, and then just send a nice little follow me over there. Let's get it. Got to remember that one of these Pokemon has the policy. One of these Pokemon do, does have the policy. We'll see how things go. I don't think he's going to Dynamax. I really don't see that happening. But I'm hoping you can, you guys can just take out my NDD here. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping you do potentially Dynamax. But no, they do not. I'm hoping they just take out my NDD. Because we can get off a trick room and then just get a... Uh, more turns out of the, the what's it called we just get more turns out of the trick room with my glacier iron Head's gonna come out here take him out get a crit or something no <laughs> no crit but we do get another follow me turn which is pretty nice i can start doing a little bit of chip damage away and uh rolling out from there so do i paint split or do i just nightshade i feel like i just nightshade here i think i just uh throw a nice little nightshade over onto metagross do a little bit of damage and then just follow me the shot I mean, really no point of following me, because he is going to go for a, uh, I could set up a safeguard. What other Pokemon do you have? Hmm, nothing that's, oh wait, well, he does have a Moogus, so I might set up a safeguard. I am just going to set up a safeguard, because you know the Fiery Rats can come in here and take me out. Pretty fair. Wow, I should have followed me there. It's got to be Metagross. This has got to be Metagross, right? 
This has got to be Metagross, right? Yeah. Okay, so Metagross is going to come out here. There was no point of going into the follow me considering it was what's called. Considering he's going to go for a fiery wrath. Then she comes out. We can do a little bit of damage to that thing. Yes, sir. Get some of that done. And Steel Spike is going to come through on my Clops, Kipu. And we do eat, which is nice. And he's going to start boosting his defense, which I really, really don't like. I don't like that one bit. I always boost his defense. Because that is just going to leave me to struggle with uh, my other Pokemon in the back. Steel Spike is going to pop. Yoink. And then Fire Wrath should potentially pick up the double KO, right? Let's see, yeah, Fire Wrath comes out here. Double KO is a little scary, though. Right? What's called does he eat? That's cop. So I can pain split. I can pain split, so give me HP, please. And Glacier? Drop a Hailstorm over onto uh, Moltres? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm Hailstorm over onto the Moltres slot. We're not going to proc weakness policy just yet because he's just going to be boosting defense and kind of buzzing from there. But I'm just going to uh, paint split over onto this slot, get some HP back, and then Dynamax and eat up here. Let's get it. Let's get buzzing with that. Let's get rolling. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. It's, it's strong meta Metagross with str versus strong meta Glacier. So we're just going to see how this happens, especially because he's boosting defense. I really don't like it. I really don't like that at all. Hopefully he guards. No way he's gonna guard. He's trying to proc weakness policy. Considering he is plus one on defense board, he knows he can eat. He's gonna just withdraw the Moltres straight up like that. Which is fine. Incineroar is gonna come out here. Nice play by him. I wish I would've went into a uh, Quake. But I could've gotten a special defense boost. But the Intimidate is gonna come out, which is really, really good. That's really good. And then in that case, I don't think I go into a Quake next turn. Because he can swap back into the Moltres, waste a turn. And go from there. So in that case, I might just go for a steel spike, or maybe drop another hailstorm, depending on what's going on. But I am minus one. I do need some chilling nades out here. I really do need some chilling nades to come out here. We are gonna be able to pain split, get some HP back, take some away from him, which is nice. Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you very much. And then hailstorm's gonna come out here since the Lord says, "Yo, dude, that's tasty snack you got there." Thank you very much. So nice, nice read by him, nice swap. He gets the attack drop and the not very effective move to slide over. And now the hail's going. And then he's probably just going to, is he going to take out, he's just going to quake. He's going to quake on me? That's fine. Eat that up all day. And he's just going to start special defense boosting now. I really don't like it at all. I really do, do I start boosting my own defense with a steel spike? Oh, I have steel spike, right? I believe so. I know I have Hailstorm, Quake, and what's the final move in here? Hailstorm, Quake, it should be Steel Spike, right? Um. Do I Pain Split again? Uh, maybe? He might swap back, that's the thing. I'm just gonna Nightshade over on the. And then go into a, uh. I do have Knuckle. That's what I have. I'm gonna start boosting my attack. I'm just gonna start boosting my attack back. He does not swap back, which is beautiful. That's why I have. I have Knuckle, which I really, really like. There's my knuckle. I don't think we're gonna be able to pick up the KO. I kind of hope so. We do not. I should have I should double up with the nightshade. We're gonna get my attack boost back, which is lovely. And I think he's just gonna flare what's into me. Leave me alone. I should have nightshaded into him. He's gonna set his berry boost. Uh, next max knuckle takes him out, so that's good. Next max knuckle does take him out. He's gonna steal smoke again with the dust cop. So this isn't just like a pestery kind of low battle here. And I could pain split again next turn to keep some turns. So he's just boosting defense. I'm gonna boost my attack, try to pick up the double kill, and get the chilling nay next turn. It'll be huge. Oh, he's just gonna flare what's in him. Okay. That's fine by me. Okay. So what's called is gonna come out here. Blastoise. And his Dynamax turns are over, which is nice. I really don't wanna start chipping on this man. Actually, I can start chipping away on this man. Because I am back to even. I'm gonna get you out here. And I could just water spout and water spout. I can do a lovely little water spout. The Dynamax turns go down. Um, I really want to boost my attack. Here's the thing. I really want to go for a, We're definitely going to go for a water spout here. I really just want to max knuckle into this thing. But at the same time, I think he's plus two on defense. Um, yeah, just scald over here. 
Water Spout is going to do a little bit more damage. I'm just going to Water Spout, and I am going to Knuckle over onto the slot. Get my attack boost, try to get a Chilling Nade boost as well. We'll see, we'll see what happens, because I don't want to proc policy. I'd rather have, like, Blast Wave take that thing out. We should have one more turn in Trick Room after this, right? It should be correct. We should be down. Mm, actually, I don't know. He's going to withdraw the Instant That's fine. He's going to go back into... Uh, oh, no. He's going to go with Moogus. Okay. We do have Safeguard up. Pretty nice. Undergrowth is going to protect. That's totally fine by me. I think we are doubling up in this slot. And we are going to get another attack boost for the squad. Get it. Still not doing a lot of damage. So this guy's just kind of pestering. Run around like that. We are getting another attack boost. So we're plus one on him. I should be able to just drop that thing with an Icicle Crash. And Water Spout's going to come out here. That's going to get blocked. And we are going to do, I guess, a little bit of damage over on T. Which is fine. This is actually a very good battle. It's a very good battle. Very, very good man. Okay, so Horsey's gonna go out of Dynamax form. And did Horsey take any damage? Maybe a little bit. This thing's boosted on defense pretty hard. Everyone's taking buffets except for Horsey. Except for my horse. Everything's back to normal. Uh, so what's called is fastest? Blastoise is fastest now. I think I. Hmm, do we think? Do you think a water spout's taking this thing out? He's gonna go for follow me anyway, so I'm just gonna Icicle Crash over here. So we'll see if a uh, Water Spout can take out Metagross. Because he cannot Spore. I, I hope he goes for a Spore. I think that a uh, Water Spout can take this thing out, potentially. Let's see. Water Spout come out. Let's not go for the Rage Powder. Can he take it out? It doesn't? Oh my lord. I think. No, Buffets will not end. But still, that Metagross gets off a shot. Lives on one. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. He's gonna make me flinch or something. That is terrible. That is terrible. And he Pollen Puffs, man. And this dude really palm puffs. Dude. <laughs> I can't deal with this game. I can't do it anymore. This thing legit survived on one. Icicle Crash is going to come out here. This should be able to pick up the KO. We're going to get chill and nade boost. Mm. I think I protect this turn. And scald on that. Oh my lord. He still has Incineroar and Moltres. This is... Dude, I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Can a skull take that out? Oh, dude, if that Metagross is dead, we have a high chance of winning this game. Oh, my lord. I think survived on one and then Pollen Puffed. Okay. Uh, good Blizzard. But at the same time, I do not want to. I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to protect here because I don't want another Iron Head taking me out. That coming out. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Last Wave doesn't have to be Moltres either. Moltres goes for a Snarl. Mm, miss him? Oh, my lord. I don't think we're going to be able to take out this Metagross now. Hopefully we get a burn, at least. Skull coming out. Get a burn? Show me the burn? No, dude, that's game. It's going to be game. Iron Head's going to come out here. Um, okay. Got to hope a Skull KOs this thing. Hopefully he doesn't go for another Snarl, and then we don't KO. But yeah. This one's pretty much over with. This one is pretty much over with. We're going to try to do this at least. Maybe he misses attacks. Maybe that happens. He's just going to go for a fiery breath. Eat up, Blastoids. Eat up, Blastoids. Eat up, Blastoids. Yes. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Skull, I need to KO. I think Skull can KO, right? It does. Hold up. Ice Crash should be able to take out. His final mon is in Cinemore. Get it. Ice Crash comes out. Yeet. Hold up. Wait a minute. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Hold up. Wait a minute. Come on, jeans. Got this, baby. We eating out here. We eating out here. Who are you gonna take out? That's the real question. I think I protect Glacier. Cause Blastoise not taking him out in one shot. No, there's no point in protecting Glacier. There's no point in protecting Glacier. Actually, we might be able to. That thing's low. We gotta double up into this. Thing. We gotta double up into this. Scald coming out. And high horsepower. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Are you going to fake out my blast? It's just a wrong call, whoever you fake out. Hopefully you go after my blastoids. Can you go for the fake out on blastoids? This should be game. I just need to land a stack. I just need to land a stack. Let's go. Let's go. Your boy. 
Your boy playing good. Woo! 2-0, baby. Start that win streak up. We're going to hop into our third and final and look for a perfect record. You guys know the deal. I'm loving the set of battles we're having in today's video. We got a not really meta team, like kind of half and half. We got a Blastoise team over here. And then we've been going up against teams that are not fully meta, which is amazing. Just like this third and final battle. This guy's got a Regirock team alongside with Tapu Fini, Thunderous, Urshfu, Nido King, and a Trick Room Dust Sculpts over here. But you guys already know the deal. We're looking for a perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Let's try to get after this one and get rolling here. Um... Who do I think he's going to lead? Do I think he leads Trick Room? That is a potential thing. Or he can go Tailwind. I kind of want to go Blast Switch, but Blast Switch just looks like he rocks out against a lot of these Pokemon. He really does. Except for, you know who, the Lando. Actually, or well not the Lando, the uh, the Thunderous. I still want to go into him. I still want to get bopping with him. And I think it might be Life Orb. It honestly might be Life Orb. And I'm going to bring Glacier in the back just in case the Trick Room does appear. And then I kind of want you, because he's not that big into physical attacking. Actually, he is. He is. I said, we said yo, get out of my face, Glacier. We kind of showed you off in the last battle. And we roll out with the same squad that we rocked out in the first battle. Try to shell smash, potentially, and go from there. But if he does lead Dust Cobbs, then what do we do? Then, then what's the play from there? Because Trick Room's not that big for a team besides maybe Reggie Rock. I feel like we can just get after that Reggie Rock and roll there. But we'll see what happens. We will see. What are you going to do? He's going to go Urshfu and Thunder. Okay. I think it's definitely not rocking a double hitting move, right? He's going to be able to Wicked Blow and take me out. But I am going to be able to Shell Smash up and go from there. Right? That's the thing. This, we are Sash, so that's good. So I can totally go for a follow me and Shell Smash up. I really, really like this turn. So I am going to be able to Shell Smash here. And roll to follow me just because we are Sash. If we weren't Sash, he would be able to wicked blow, take me out, and then go into an electric move and take me out that way as well. So he would have picked up the double KO. But since this is happening, I think he's going to go for a wicked blow and an electric move instead of a tailwind, which would be huge. But if he does go for a tailwind, I don't like that. There's the wild charge. He loves to see it. All right, so cool. That's kind of exactly what I want. It shows that he's life orb. We're going to be able to outspeed him next turn, I believe. Wicked blow comes through. And we should be able to Dynamax and Shell Smash and be chilling here. And I can't get out my Incineroar, which is lovely as well. So, solid turn from Indeed. Indeed. I, I, like, I'll take that KO all day to set up my Blastoise. Shell Smash popping. Yay! Defense is low. He does have Sucker Punch. Uh, but we are going to Dynamax him. Try to get Canyon A buzzing. Uh, do I, I think what's called Post is the bigger threat, obviously. Because we are going to be able to get out here with an Intimidate, which is lovely. And a Fake Out. Uh, the real question is, who do I Fake Out? I think I Fake Out the Urshfu, considering... And what's it called? Might just come out here. And Dynamax. I can totally see a Dynamax coming out from you right there. So I think I'm just going to drop a Hailstorm. This thing's Defiant, so it's definitely Dynamax. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. But again, we should be able to outspeed, I think. Dynamax, do I go for a Canyon and get the stab? Nah, let's just go for the Hailstorm. Try to KO you like that. Fake out onto you. I think that's the play. I can't fake out. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't fake out. I, I like, I click the button and then I realize it. I legit once I hit A, I was like, I can't fake out. There's just a second shot. Should have went for the parting shot, man. Should have went for the parting shot. But hopefully my boy Blastoise out speeds. He should be able to right plus two. But I know Thunderous is very very fast. Maybe he won't Dynamax. Is he gonna Dynamax? He's not gonna Dynamax, and he is just gonna protect Thunder. Which is fine. We start getting buckets out. We do have Intimidate on the thing. Fake out does not come out. So I probably wouldn't have done anything because he protected anyway. I'm going to be able to do that. And I can Canyon any next turn. That's still KO. Oh my lord. We're still going to get the KO from the buckets, right? That's that, That's huge damage right there. That is huge damage. I'm going to Canyon any next turn. Over on the Urshifu slot. Let's see what happens. Close combat's going to come through. Ooh, yo, chill on me, man. Chill on me. Now your defense is down. Now you're not looking. Show me the buffets. Take that thing out. Show me the buffets take out that thunder. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Uh we do outspeed it, right? So I think I just canyonate over on him. I think I canyonate and parting shot. Or I just darkest layer it. I'd rather have my intimidate come back out here. I'm just gonna parting shot. I wanna go out. 
but it does. Kenny needs to come out here. I need to take out that thing because he, he, he does big damage. Need him gone. I really do need him gone, so I'm just gonna do that. Get that vortex damage swirling around here. And I will get one more turn with my Plasters in G Max form. And I'm gonna be able to get off a parting shot, which is decently good. We go for another close combat. It's fine, we should be able to eat up all day. Yeah, we do eat up. And I can parting out. And then get my my boy, he's low on defense. So I'm gonna be able to get out uh I'm gonna be able to get out Robin, and I might not fake out. I might not fake out, I might just grass guide, because this thing's defense is in the dumpster. It's in the dumpster, so I might just grass guide on that slot and candy nade over onto the left slot. See if I can pick up a double KO. That'd be big, that'd be big. So we're gonna swap you, we're gonna get out you with the Rose Intense. We do have the Vortex swirling around. So I might not, I'm probably not even gonna fake out. I'm probably not gonna fake out, because Chancellor is gonna Dynamax the left Mon. And uh, roll from there. The surge is rolling. This thing's defense is low, low. It's low, low, low. It's minus two on both ends. And it's and like I just feel like we're just gonna dump on it with the grassy surge. We got the rose incense, the surge uh, boost two, and then the stab. And we got the vortex damage rolling around. So yeah, what's that should be able to do? Uh, good amount of damage there. Big out's not gonna come out here. And that's actually good. That, that's gonna neglect the buff of damage. It's huge. Uh, and then. I think I think we're sitting pretty decent here. You're gonna go out to dust cop. Oh, it's flops you flops. I'm still gonna canyon eat over onto it. I'm still 100 percent gonna canyon eat onto it. He's gonna show what I have. And I'm definitely just still gonna canyon eat over onto that slot. And then roll into a grassy guide. Say see you later, boy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take out the dust cops. I hope. That's gonna be close. He's gonna be pushing it. We still have vortex and buffet damage going towards it. And then but he does heal up. But heals up is at the end, buddy. Urshpu's gonna detect. Okay, that's fine. I'm candy needing over onto the other slot. Send up a trick room. Might be set up a trick room. Hopefully, we can KO. It'd be awesome. We're just shooting crazy. KO? Oh, yes, sir. You love to see it, baby. You love to see it. So, no trick room coming out from him. Blastoise is still the fastest. Blastoise is still the fastest on the field. So he's gonna Dynamax, and I'm gonna have to scald whatever Pokemon comes out on the left side and see how much damage I can actually do. But then I still have Incineroar for an Intimidate drop, which is nice. Vortex damage coming through. Grass guy takes out Urshifu easily. So I wonder who his final Pokemon is. Again, he has Dynamax, and we're looking for a perfect record. I'm hoping I can get it. I've been playing really, really well today. Setting up these Shell Smashes, playing well in the Trick Rooms. But I, that was a good call by me. Oh, it's Reggie Rock. He's definitely gonna be hard though, right? He's definitely going to guard, but I still have to pose that because I know the Glide is going to be able to take that out. I know the Glide is going to be able to take that out, so I'm just going to scald here. That's lovely. That's Reggie Rock. I'm just going to Glide over onto you. Glide takes out Urshifu. Um, we should be thriving here. We should be thriving here because if he doesn't guard, he's taking a plus two skull. And I don't think he's eating that up. I don't think he's eating that up. And if not, we have Grassy Glide coming out next turn, which is a fact. So, yo, your boy's sitting good. I The last time I went 3-0, it has been too long. We've been doing pretty well. Was the Electivire video, which was last week. Right? I think it was last week we went 3-0. So, we're about to go 3-0 again. I don't really want to jinx it, but you guys know it's looking really good. You guys know it's looking really good. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, jeans, you cut out in between battles. But, yo, I promise you guys that the three battles I record are always the three battles I upload. That's why sometimes I go 1-2. and two, Sometimes I go 0-3. But I upload what I give. So... That is exactly how it goes. That takes out. Skull comes in here. Does not pick up the KO, but yo, we're, we're sitting pretty here. We're sitting so pretty here. We got Grassy Guy next turn. And if not, Blastoise out speeds. Easy peasy, baby. 3 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0, oh, yeah. Love to see it. That was for you guys. That was for the Jeans Online Gaming community, baby. Community. That's how you guys got to say it. You can say Jeans Online Gaming, but then at the end, you have to put a little sauce. I have to put a little zest into the community one. A monarchy. Like that. Like that. Alright? So I want you guys to practice. Staying community. So every time I say it, you guys can do it. But Vortex, let's take it out. One last community for you guys. A monarchy. Jeans online game. A monarchy. Like that. Put some zest on it. But there you guys go. Perfect record. Let's get it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that banger of a video. Perfect record. Absolutely dominated with the Blastoids and the Glacier combo. It just works out so well. You can go two different ways with this team. 
just like how we showed it off here. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.